Today, today is National Pizza Day, guys. Well, according to who, though? Send me pizza. According to who? <laughs> is this another Instagram holiday that so people can post something about pizza? Yeah, I mean, everything's Will for the Will it be National Pizza Day? People pizza? don't go out to eat unless they can take a photo of it these days, right? Yeah. I just want to know if it'll be National Pizza Day on this date on November 12, 2017. We'll find out. I it feel like there's be. about five national pizza days a year and like national puppy days and stuff. Like, I feel like I see these things all the time. It's a little suspicious. Yeah. So we accept tips and pizza and money, but pizza would be good. Pizza okay, so, would so be we're, great. we're talking about pizza out of the fast food chains of pizza. Oh, yeah. Geez. Okay. What, what are some of What are your go to fast food? Fast food. Oh, so, like, uh, the, like Domino's, food. Pizza Hut. Like national chains? Yeah. Or any chains, really. Um, awkward. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Time out. Awkward, silent moments. Like yeah. On, like on the show. On the show, generally we don't. But I mean, like in real life. In I mean, real yeah, life, yeah. Happens. All the time. Yeah. Especially with strangers. Oh no! The worst awkward silent silence moments, or the best because I kind of like weird situations. I don't know why. But when you run into people that you don't talk to regularly out in public. That's the most you know? awkward, yeah. Like you're at Target or something, and you run into somebody, or when you don't even remember how you know them, but they look so familiar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, that happens to me, yeah. So Michaela, I don't like awkward no. moments. Michaela, I love how I'm pointing at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, Michaela says, according to Twitter, it's National Pizza Day. Brian, yeah. biology doesn't count. Let's not Biology no. does count. We're talking We're about talking like, like pizza, national, Domino's, Domino's, Papa John's, national. whatever else. Little round Caesar, table, little Caesar's. Round table shakies, I guess. Um, Shake is that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, typically, if we're talking about just pizza in general, I always pick the, like, mom and pop shops or the more local shops. But in terms of national chains... What was your go-to? Like, what did you get as a kid? Well, I grew up in a tiny town in San Diego, out in the mountains. So pizza was only Pizza Hut, I think. Um, otherwise, it was a bunch of Mexican food and cook at home. I know, one at a time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're trying to have awkward, silent moments, so we're just all just yelling at you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't get my as, pizza from places like that. As a kid, days. as a kid, like, as far as, like, from, I don't know, this, this is not my favorite, but as a kid, like, Pizza Hut was definitely one mm -hmm. uh, for two reasons, because... One, I thought it was just really good because I liked the greasiness of it at the time when I was a kid. You know, mm -hmm. like how you like the greasiness of it now. Uh, yeah. Don't fucking lie. <laughs> Actually, no. I had it like uh, Thursday. Oh my god, it made me so sick. That's a whole other story. But that's is that the leftover pizza you ate before the show? No, okay. that, no, I had Papa John. I had pizza. Again. Man, you really are living up to the pizza in the morning, pizza in the morning, yeah. pizza at supper time, pizza on Thursday. Take one day off, pizza on Saturday. All right. <laughs> um. As far, yeah, uh, I remember Pizza Hut as a kid would be the go-to one for, like, every Friday my family would, or my dad would buy Pizza Hut. Um, and then I pushed more for it once they started doing the PlayStation deal, where they had the demo disc. Oh, the yeah, you and Mike have talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we've talked about that already. But, yeah, I'm like, now, I hate to admit this because I used to work for them, but Domino's has been coming out with some good fucking pizza. Well, I think they have to, right? Because the thing is, like, shit. they're... Sorry for all the cursing. Days, there's so many options for everything. Like, we were talking about beer earlier. Like, there never used to be that many options for beer. Pizza, there never used to be that many options. Now there's so many. So I think the yes, chain uh, establishments kind of have to get a little bit more inventive or creative. Um, Domino's has done a good job at that. Well, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has been turned yeah. into, like, the stoner pizza, for sure. But Pizza Hut, I think, actually... Did Pizza Hut, were they the ones that changed their crust in their recipe first, or was that Domino's? That was Domino's. Okay, well, Pizza Hut, I know, has done the same. And I don't think it's went through, but I know some locations, like, they're supposed to just they be known have, as yeah. the Hut. Yeah. I, I haven't noticed that yet, though, like, anywhere locally. I um, think there's one nearby. So, yeah, it's one nearby. So, Brian, okay, Brian, I'm going to talk to you first. Uh, so, Brian and I... You know, we've known each other forever. Is that was that what we used to always get? I agree with that. Rick was Blair. it? Was it? Was it? Was it Pizza Hut? Especially Domino's in particular. Sorry. So those summer pool days, you and Ryan and I, it was Pizza Hut. I was trying to remember if it was that or Domino's. I know Ryan and I did that before I even met you two. But Pizza Hut, I think. Tell there me, might be a lie. Memory. So it's probably Pizza Hut. I know. He'll answer when he okay. gets to it. Uh, Rick Flair, what do you say? I love Domino's, Domino's pizza. Is pizza is cold. cold. I love cold pizza too. Sometimes. Domino's in particular, I have it for though, breakfast. 
Yeah, Domino's in particular, <laughs> though, because I used to work there, I know for a fact it is better cold sometimes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Brian says Pizza Hut thin crust. That is what we used to do. That's true. I remember that. I don't know, man. I think... <sighs> Generally, yeah, the next day, I don't reheat the pizza because I don't think it ever reheats the same. But I think, it cold, I think cold pizza is highly... Highly overrated. To me, the best pizza is fresh, hot pizza. Okay. No, it's good fresh. Never the same. Don't get me wrong. It is good fresh, but cold pizza ain't bad either. I knew that. Was, Michaela, <laughs> I knew that was coming. Girl Meets World. I, I haven't know. watched it yet. I know. Well, there wasn't one this week. You didn't watch last, last week? week? No. Well, so, see, it. Bryant gets me because for me, I, I love hot pizza, but I love cold pizza. There's no difference. They're both amazing. But the advantage that cold pizza has is... You can have it with zero effort, literally. Yeah. <laughs> My breakfast probably once a week or once every other week is cold pizza because I roll out of bed and I'm, I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people don't eat first thing in the morning. I wake up starving. That's probably what wakes me up is my <laughs> rumbling stomach. So I roll out of bed and I'm like, I want food. And so what's already ready? Pizza. So I eat pizza for breakfast, and it's the best thing ever. It's ready. I don't have to cook it or think about it. I put it in my mouth, and I wake up a much happier person. <laughs> so Brian agrees with me that cold pizza is the best pizza. Ric Flair says cold pizza is better than fresh, in my opinion. Eh, I, I don't know if I can agree with that. I think fresh... The problem with pizza... I mean, I think people like cold pizza because you can't ever reheat it the same way. I've read that's different true, theories. Yeah. I think people say that one... I've actually looked this up, and some people say that, that heating it up on a stove... In like a in an oven in or, a pit, or in a oven. pot in a pot is better than the in oven and the other stuff. A pot, a frying pan, or whatever. You just heat it on there. Okay. They say that actually. That. Yeah. I've never done it myself, but they say that actually reheats it pretty well. Um, so yeah, I don't know if cold pizza is the best breakfast. I kind of prefer the leftover carne. Oh, I don't know. The leftover carne asada burrito I got the night before in San Diego, eating that the next morning. Cool. Is the best breakfast, not cool. I think any oh. leftovers are the best breakfast because I don't yeah. have to think about it exactly you just grab it, <laughs> and, it just and you're done put it in my mouth hole <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that's true generally yeah. you, rick yeah. flair you're right that's i will eat the pizza cold because it sucks being reheated so exactly okay moving on off topic christmas when is it except like what what is the exact day to you know what's the exact acceptable moment to start christmas anything you think june I mean, no, you think I year think year-round. Round. <laughs> exactly. So, no, I'm kidding. Realistically, I think uh, after the first week of November, it's okay to start kind of getting into the holiday spirit. I see, Brian, I that's think post-Thanksgiving is, that's too late because it's like, then you only have a month to enjoy Christmas? Wait, post the whole, like, basically right after... The day after Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving. I would agree with Brian. I okay. I would wait to get a tree until Maybe even later. Maybe the week before. But or the as week far as of. see, I'm okay with like things like Christmas lights being up or just a festive holiday decorations uh, before Thanksgiving. You're talking about like advertisements. Oh yeah, no, I don't care. I love the like. I love the first. I think, holiday she's, I think she's talking about. Earlier. I think she's talking about decorations. What is it okay to? see Christmas anything or put out Christmas anything. Well, I agree. Okay. I, don't, I don't think Thanksgiving should be ignored. See, I, I like Ric Flair as the answer. Uh, the beginning of November. I'm the same uh, way. I to me, it's like a holiday season, not just like, okay, it's Halloween and then it's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and then it's Christmas. Like, to me, it's a whole holiday season, so I like to just roll with the holidays. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think Thanksgiving should be ignored, but... There's so much involved with Christmas and the decorations that it does seem kind of like you're going to do all that for just like, what, 25 days? You know, I like, I don't yeah. think there's any harm in starting to decorate like in the middle of November or whenever in November, you know, because it's like you only get to use those decorations once a year. So, I mean, why not enjoy it? I think know? too, I would rather, you know, if you're talking about like the period in which you have Christmas lights up or a Christmas tree up, I would rather have them up earlier before Christmas than be one of those people that leaves Christmas lights up way after Christmas. Because I think that's always kind of pushing it past its... Uh, yeah, because like after December 25th, moment. you're kind of like, it's gone. I mean, I'll leave it up after the New Year, but I think in that first week of the New Year, that's when I want to kind of transition 
the after taking you know? that. Yeah, yeah. But I a lot of people that. tend to leave that stuff up for a long time, and that's when I'm kind of like, okay, I'd like to lazy. move on into the new year. So that's okay. I'm lazy too. I get it. Yeah, I think like the <laughs> deadline, like January second, like be done with it. Apparently. Yeah. Totally. Because I can understand like, the lights up for like New Year's or whatever to make it more festive, especially if you're like having a party or something. Um, but I would, I think I would go with November, beginning of November. Yeah. Or whenever Starbucks yeah, like puts out the cups. Right. As, oh, here we go. <laughs> like, as yeah. far as decorations and stuff go, because like there's just so much involved with it. I Like, I don't think, like, yeah, don't forget about Thanksgiving. But there's not much to Thanksgiving as far as, like, you know, it's, it's a day and it's a holiday for sure. <laughs> but. You know, like yeah, it's kind of like no okay, one really decorates Thanksgiving, for Thanksgiving. Move Christmas along and let's get Christmas time. into the mix. Like keep the turkey for Christmas and I need something else for Thanksgiving. So what do you need for Thanksgiving then, Ric Flair? Oh, right, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what fam is, so sorry. I do. I like it's to all about do food, turkey family, for Christmas. Family. I know. I mean, turkey for Thanksgiving and then ham for Christmas. Ham I'm a turkey Christmas. and then ham kind of person. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like ham. Or turkey, so they do just do one or the other for both holidays. But I like to do kind of like one or the turkey other. Turkey and then ham. Yeah. That's what my family usually did was yeah. turkey and ham. Um, yeah, I think we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Friendsgiving? Are we gonna do turkey? Yeah. Friendsgiving is just lots of food. I don't care what it is. It could be candy and pizza for all I care. <laughs> well, now turkey. you're talking my language. Fried <laughs> turkeys, man. Stuffing and some other things. Like oh, I love stuffing. Oh, yeah. Stuffing yeah. is meatloaf. So good. Oh, God. Definitely. Yeah. I just love all food. I really like to eat. Shouldn't enchiladas be a Christmas food? Because no, you've, uh, you've got. No, but I'm, I know it's tamales. 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 I know, but oh enchiladas, gosh, you've tamales, got. Guys. You've got enchiladas with red sauce, enchiladas with uh, green sauce. Enchiladas with chicken, enchiladas with chicken. But I'm just saying the red and the green, like it should be an Oh, I get it. Okay. New tradition, perhaps? Yeah. Brazilian barbecue. Yeah, Texas State yeah. Brazil. Um, anyways, so we're kind of all in agreement that November is okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess beginning of November. I think that's I just think that I, Any time like, in November to me is like, but I will say, okay, I think, you know, what's socially acceptable is probably like sometime in November is... Mid-November. Yeah, mid-November. Um, but for me personally, I've caught myself all throughout the year... Like, in the middle of summer, I will start thinking to myself, like, God, I, I hate this time right now. I wish it were the holidays because the holidays are so festive. There's no lights up in this shopping center and no Christmas music blasting from the parking lot. And it's depressing. I feel like, it, I feel like the holiday season is really wonderful and festive and fun and Definitely happy. Definitely can be, yeah. And the rest of the year is just boring and depressing. Well... If you ask the local, <laughs> if you ask the local radio station here that plays Christmas music nonstop around this time of year, Christmas starts the day after the presidential election. <laughs> According to my parents, they tune on that channel and they're already just Christmas music all the time. Like not wow, yeah, one hundred three point five. You know the channel. Yeah. So, and when um, they do that, it's legit. Like there's nothing else but that playing. Which I'm fine with, but I I think most people really hate that. I love it. I think because my birthday is also in the early part of December, so to me it feels like a whole season celebrating my birthday. Um, so I'm surprised Bryant isn't of the same opinion. Here's what I like. I think because decorations, like pe people have so many decorations, and you only get to bring them out once a year. I think that November is okay. I would argue, though, like, I don't know that I necessarily want to be listening to, like, Silent Night on November 10th. Mm, no, yeah. I, I could reserve Christmas music till after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'll sing Christmas songs in the middle of summer just because. <laughs> <laughs> the weather outside is frightful in the middle of summer here. Yeah.